Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 RPG series. In today's video we are going to be showing you how you can set up a simple currency for your RPG game. Now this currency is going to be something that the player is going to be able to use within a shop within the game and that's going to be something that we create later on and this currency they're going to be able to obtain this by killing enemies and you know picking it up from the loot bags that we've created previously. Now, if you take a look at the latest version of the RPG HUD, you can see I've got a little coin icon up in the top left hand corner. And right now you can just see there's a number and a little icon and that is literally all we're going to be doing. We are going to be focusing in today's video on the graphical element and creating the variable which the engine is going to be using for your currency. This variable is going to be something that we're going to be taking away from, adding to, and stuff like that, along with the logic of our gameplay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Now one thing that I do want to mention is you need to have the latest version of the RPG HUD, as within there I've exported out this little coin icon with the name coins and that is it. Once you've got this, what you want to do is head over to your RPG project, and then obviously making sure you're not in the game, just go to HUD assets and just click, drag and drop it in to bring it into the engine. And then once we've done this, we can start to bring it up into our heads up display. Now, one thing that I do want to do before I bring it into our heads up display is for the text telling the player how many icons they, they have, we need to define a variable where it's going to get that information from. Now, this currency I'm going to have separate for both the magic character and the sword based character. So, you know, they've both got individual save games and different amounts of currency and all that good stuff. So having said that, I'm going to need two different variables for this. Now, if you wanted to, you could make the currency shared. It's entirely up to you. So what I'm going to do is within both my magic and my sword based character, I'm going to create a new variable with the type integer and just call it currency. So just give it the name currency and then in the top right hand corner just give it the variable type integer. And then once you've done this just compile it and just make sure that your default value is set to zero or whatever amount of coins you want the player to start off with. Now I've done this for the magic character, I'm going to quickly do the same thing for my sword character. Just double click to open it up add the variable, give it the name currency, and just change the variable type to integer. So now for the next bit, which is going to be displaying that currency on the player screen. So what we're going to do is open up the HUD. Now if you bear in mind, and remember previously we created two versions of the HUD. We've got one for the RPG HUD, which is going to be for one of the characters, and then we've also got the other one, which is for the melee HUD, which is going to be this for the sword based character. So what I need to do is I'm going to start off with the RPG HUD for the magic based character. And within here, I'm going to create a piece of text. Now with this text, I'm just going to set the default content to 0, 0, 0, so I can get a reference to size, so I can sort of see how it's going to look within my game. Now for the color, I'm going to change this to a light yellow, just like it looks in the heads up display. If you just pop back over to my Photoshop document, you can see exactly how that looks. And it looks quite nice. It's just a small piece of text below the player's mana bar. Now, moving on, what we're going to do next is bring in an image for the icon for the coins. So just drag and drop, not drag and drop, sorry. Just type in coins in the appearance, brush and image. And then with this, if you just match up the image size here, just below the text, sorry, just below the, you know, the image, just define it over here, so 24 by 24. And then if you just click, drag and drop it into place. And then with your font as well, you want to make sure you change your font style to light. And then just turn down the font size to maybe something like 16, just so it fits along with it. So the next step that we've got to do then is going to be binding this text to the variable for the currency. So what I'm essentially going to have to do is create a text binding by going over here in the content side, create binding, and then simply just casting to where that variable is stored. In this case for the magic based character is cast to magic underscore character. 
and then as magic character get currency and then that will give you access to the integer and if you hook this up to the return value over here it's going to convert it from an integer to a string and display it on the screen. Now one thing I'm, you might want to change is minimum, minimum integral digits to something like free so it always takes up quite a little bit of space and then for your object wildcard to set this to get player character as you are casting and referencing a player character. So that's all good and that's all done for the magic based character now. So making sure that I've got everything anchored to the top left, which it is, if I go ahead and press play and open my magic character, you can see in the top left hand corner, you can see I've got my coins in the top left and it says I've currently got zero of them. And that's because the variable right now is set to zero, you know, it's just nothing in it. And if I was to open up my magic character, and set my currency to something like 51, compile, and then press play and open up my magic character, you can see that that has updated. So what I'm gonna do is set this back down to zero and then just pretty much copy all of that stuff that I've just done for the other heads up display for the other character. Now, it can be a little bit long and tedious if you have multiple characters in a game, but that is just something that you've got to do. It's only gonna take two seconds, so, what I'm going to do, one piece of information that I do need to copy exactly, is the font color. So I'm going to click this and just copy this little hex code here, press Control c to copy it, press OK, and take a look at the font size, which is 16. Now that I've done this, open up our Melee HUD, and then just piece in a piece of text, 16, and then set this to light, and then for the color, just select all of this, paste in the new value and then just press OK. And for the default content, just set this to zero, zero and zero. And then the other thing that we need to do, image, and then the image over here is gonna be your coins. Set the image size to 24 by 24 and then just drag it into place just like this. And once again, what we also need to do is just create that little binding of ours to the variable now I haven't created the variable inside of the sword character yet, so what I'm gonna do is open this up. Oh, I have created the variable, so we're all good there. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my melee HUD, click my text, and then create the binding, and this is simply gonna be the same as before, but instead of the magic character, it's cast to sword underscore character, and as sword character, get currency, and then just drag and drop into here and change your minimum integral digits to two and set your object wildcard to get player character. Hit compile, hit play, and if we jump into our sword base character now, it also says zero, zero, which is all good. For whatever reason, I think I might have accidentally set my minimum integral digits to two instead of three and we are all good from there. Anyway guys, that's pretty much everything for setting up the heads up display side of things for our currency. There is still loads of things that we need to do with it, and that includes working with the shop, which is more complicated, which is going to allow you to, you know, check to see whether or not the player's got enough currency, and then if they do, Give them, give them an item and take away whatever the cost is of that item. Anyway guys, once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.